Hiya, I'm Sarah from The Little Pink Kitchen. Here in The Little Pink Kitchen, my favourite thing is local Northern Irish produce. I'm going to show you a really easy pancake recipe and a sweet topping involving caramelised apples. For my pancakes, you need some soft raisin flour, some milk, some eggs and some vanilla essence. To make these pancakes, what you need is a cup and this is what will help you measure everything. So you get some self raising flour, put it into your bowl, then you crack in an egg, you add a cupful of milk. I really prefer whole milk. Skim milk tastes like water, so there's no point putting it in. If you've got buttermilk, it's good too, and semi-skimmed is fine, but whole milk is my favorite. I also add a teaspoon of vanilla essence um, if the end result is going to have something sweet in it. So either syrup that you're serving it with or for with the caramelized apples. And you just whisk that up until there are no lumps of flour left and there are some bubbles on the top. And that's it ready. Okay, so to cook your pancakes, you have um, a non-stick frying pan on a medium heat, okay? And I just take a large serving spoon to measure um, my pancakes out because I just find small pancakes make them easier to flip later on. You're waiting for some little bubbles to appear on the surface of the pancakes and for them to be slightly dry around the edge and then you know that they're ready to flip over to the other side. So there's our pancakes and now I'm going to show you how to make the toppings for them. To prepare the apples um, what you do is you take about 50 grams of butter and you put it into your frying pan and into that butter you add two tablespoons of dark brown sugar. Brown sugar just gives it a far more intense toffee caramel flavour so it gives it like a really nice toffee apple flavour rather than just sweet apples. Add one chopped apple. Just one um, will serve two people and allow those slices of apple to cook for about four or five minutes until they're nice and soft. What we're doing is we're putting half of the apples on half of the pancakes for one person and making sure that there's loads of that gorgeous caramelized sauce there that's extra so that pancakes can soak it up. And once we've done that, we are also adding some creme fraiche. So spooning just a nice big dollop of creme fraiche over the top of the pancakes on the apples. I do think that breakfast pancakes with um, bacon and maple syrup is really, really hard to beat, especially here in Northern Ireland because we have such good pork produce and the bacon is always excellent quality. Put your bacon on top of the pancakes and then you get some nice maple syrup and you drizzle it over the top of the bacon and the pancakes. So there are some recipes from the Little Pink Kitchen to make your pancake day this year a little bit more interesting. You can head over to the Belfast Telegraph Facebook and Twitter page to let us know how you enjoyed them. Have a great Pancake Tuesday.